Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in for today's YouTube video. Now I'm actually excited about this episode because there's a really bad coup in it. I hope you enjoy it. Alright, so at the beginning of the episode, Thomas is complaining of the under engines that he, that he kept complaining. And here's where we see the first goof. You notice that Thomas is right between Gordon and Henry. But a little bit later... But a little bit later, we can see that Henry has moved to the opposite side of the shed. In fact, all the engines seem to be ranged. Everybody's where James used to be. Uh, I guess, I guess you are. And now, in the next scene, it, we can see that Thomas moved to the opposite side of the shed. This already ended, we just found four ghosts. And that night, Edward came to the shed. He was a client in the luncheon, and he felt sorry for Thomas. The next morning, both both drivers agreed to get Tom. I am Edward's cars. Hang on a minute. Let's back that up. This isn't a goof, but I never noticed this. Do you guys see that the troubles and trucks have mouths? That is so strange. I never noticed that when I was a little kid. Wait, what? This guy doesn't have a whistle. All he has is that little green flag. I'm sorry, Mr. Conductor, but you ain't fooling no one. Consider yourself a goof. Not excessive whistle. But the freight cars are already giving him trouble, even though they say they're not ready. Ah, you guys think I'm just And also, the trucks will change. In the next scene, the track bounces. Now get ready for some really bad goose. Now get ready for some really bad goose. At this point, we can see that Thomas is flying through Elworth's taste. Ellsworth Station. At that moment in time, you just saw three goofs in just one scene. Let's take a closer look. Okay, first of all, I don't care how fast they say Thomas is going. I say that you were going this fast, you will be going 100 miles per hour. Oh. Okay. You can see someone's hand flying in the train, and the tracks has come to a complete end. Three goofs in just one scene, but Thomas is making the trucks even more across her. But he has no idea what's coming to him. And here comes one of the worst goofs that I ever spotted on the Thomas friend. So, so, I mean, I had no idea how this got through. You are that right, guys. I did no editing on this. At one point, when Thomas is coming up Gordon's Hill, we can distinctly hear someone say, Out for the train. Out for the train? How can this goof just slip through? It is so painfully obvious. The music comes to a complete stop. Out for the train? And then it just continues to move on like nothing ever happens. 
And GWR was a little kid. He used to rewind this over and over on his VHS, but he just couldn't figure out where that talking was coming from. But anyway, let's get back to the story. Tom's puffing up Gordon's heel, but... Oh yeah, and, and another thing. Tom's swearing Percy's tired face. And at that point, Tom's coming up Gordon's heel. <clears throat> He began to put on the brakes. We're stopping, we're stopping, called Thomas. And this is where everything goes downhill. Ha, <laughs> no fun intended. No, 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 answered the cars. But the cars didn't want to stop. They wanted to keep Bumping going. Into each other. Go on, go on. Before the driver could stop them, they had pushed Thomas down the hill. And Poor Thomas. Thomas tried to apply his brakes, but him go too fast. Stop they couldn't pushing. stop. Stop pushing, he hissed. But the cars took and the no camera notice. shakes. Go on, bit. go on. They giggled in their silly way. At this point, things were looking pretty bad for Thomas. There's the station. Oh dear, watch up. But why is the signal all green? I think. I do, cried Thomas. They rattled straight through and swerved into the goods yard. Thomas shut his eyes. I must stop. Thomas' buffer memes are black, and they should be red. When he opened his eyes, they appeared pretty wonky. He saw he had stopped just in front of the buffers. There watching him was Sir Topham Hatt. What are you doing here, Thomas? He and here's where I found the last scoop. If you look at Sir Tom and Matt's feet, you'll notice that there's clearly a stick attack on there. And there's also a gap in Thomas' face. Why did you face. come so fast? I didn't mean to. I was pushed, said Thomas. You put them as Edward. Then you'll be a really useful engine. And this marks the end of the episode. Alright, you guys, those were all the views that I found in Thomas and Trust. This episode had so many views in it, and I want to know if the lookout for that train view is real. But anyway, having said that, if you guys didn't saw a group that I didn't point out, leave a comment below and let me know. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great day.